Hello and welcome to beautiful, universal Orlando City Walk. We are doing a very special challenge today. I've never done this challenge. Drinking around City Walk challenge, I guess that's what we're gonna call it. I've never done this, I'm very excited. We're gonna try to do at least five different bars. We're gonna try to start off at the bar that has a plane crash next to it. It's like a plane crash bar. It's right next to Margaritaville. That's gonna be our first stop here at our City Walk bar crawl. We're at the Lone Palm Airport. It's a very cool, very fun theme here at City Walk. It is our first drink. I decided to go with the five o'clock somewhere. And by the way, this is Daniel, sorry. This is Daniel right here. He's joining me on my travels around City Walk. Cheers, Daniel. Yeah, yeah my, first, my first drink and my first spill. Already, I already spilled. So Daniel, you got a land shark? Yeah, so I got a land shark. This is like a staple, one of Jimmy Buffett's like draft beers that he made. It's kind of like a Corona, so you gotta throw that lime in there. It's a classic choice. Classic. I'm gonna read off my drink real quick. It's just a basically Margaritaville Silver Rum, Margaritaville Paradise Passion Fruit Tequila, Cruzan Hurricane Proof Rum, Orange and Pineapple Juice with House Sour and Sweet and a splash of grenadine. Now, I didn't get a good drink because I actually spilled all over myself, so let me try it again. Well, it's very strong. It's all right. It's not my absolute favorite. They just, it came with a maraschino cherry, so I decided to eat that. Beer before liquor or liquor before beer? I'm pretty sure he's right, but... Liquor before beer, we'll you're in the clear. <laughs> I guess we'll see who's right at the end of the day. <laughs> oh. No, I almost got a beer, too, so... First drink of the day, cheers. Oh. So we just got done drinking our first drink at the airport bar and I didn't want to say this while I was sitting at the bar my drink was just not very good and we were sitting at the bar I did not want to say that while we were sitting there so the review looks a little sloppy because I couldn't describe the drink because it just really tasted like nasty rum mixed with some sort of citrus like orange juice pineapple juice it was very strong I just don't know if that drink was for me I felt like everyone was judging me around the bar so I didn't really want to talk Talk about the drink too harshly. On to the Chocolate Emporium. I've never been here. I've only stepped in here briefly one time and saw all the desserts that they have. And apparently there's a bar on like the second floor here. So let's go check that out. Second stop, Chocolate Emporium. Hello. Good to see you. Do be careful of the stairs. Yeah, I know. Do watch your step. I have tripped on the <laughs> time or two. We're about to get a drink on the second floor. I've heard they're nice. Oh, so good. Any recommendations? How about drinks? I really love all of them but if I had to pick one I would say either the chocolate cherry mule or the old chocolate fashion uh, that's what I was going to say the old chocolate or fashion or the vanilla chocolate cocktail that was mm. a good one it tastes like a Tootsie Roll, but it hits you like a truck. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, thank you. Yeah, Lewis <laughs> Thank you. Ah, cool. Bye-bye. So the theming in the Chocolate Emporium is basically like chocolate steampunk. And all the drinks at the bar are apparently themed after different chocolate beverages. So they're all gonna be like chocolate, chocolatey liqueur drinks. But here is the inside of the Emporium. You got so many cool effects on the wall. The graphics everywhere, the ambiance in here. Very steampunk, very like industrial feeling. Feels like you can get lost in here. There were so many different sweets downstairs in the little chocolate store where they sell macaroons and they also sell truffles and all sorts of different sweets. I got the chocolate cherry mule. One of the characters downstairs, I asked them, I was What's your favorite drink? And they said, oh, get the chocolate cherry mule. So that's why I got it. it looks very delicious. So a chocolate themed drink. Steampunk. Yes. Yeah. Steampunk turn of the century. Think Nikola Tesla if you had a chocolate factory. Um, I got the Emporium Lemonade. It's got a west black raspberry liqueur and gin, some simple syrup. It's going to be pretty good. I haven't had it before, but... Black raspberry and gin. Simple syrup. Not bad. <laughs> Ginger beer and double chocolate vodka. Let's dive in. Mmm, and brandied cherries, Brand, branded brandy, 
Brandy cherries. The cherry really compliments. I hardly even taste the chocolate. I mostly taste the cherries, which I thought it was going to be the opposite. I thought it was going to be I could taste a lot of chocolate and the cherries. It kind of tastes like a cherry Coke almost. Very strangely, it's very similar to a cherry Coke. Well, what's your, how does your drink? It's pretty good. It's very sweet, but not too sweet. You can definitely taste some liquor, but it will get you very good. Um, I do prefer drinking it from the glass than a straw, though. I don't know exactly why, but just drinking it from the glass made it a little bit better. Yeah, can you chase, Can you taste the gin? No, not really, honestly. And of course, since mine is a mule, since it is a uh, chocolate cherry mule, and it comes in the beautiful glass, uh, the bronze glass right here. I don't know if it's considered bronze, but that's what I consider it. It's like the Moscow Mule, you know, it's like the Mule Blast. Yeah, I was actually very impressed with how refreshing this drink was. Since I heard that it was chocolate, I didn't think it was going to be very refreshing. I thought it was going to be more like smooth, but this is like very refreshing with the ice. It's got ice in there and it's got the very strong cherry flavors. It's got shavings of white chocolate on top. No, it's not Parmesan. It's white chocolate on top, little flakes of white chocolate. So I think we're going to go to Hard Rock next. I'm finishing my drink and they just opened up the blinds for the windows and we have a beautiful view of the entire city walk. Great place to enjoy a drink and see the beautiful city walk. Bright blue sky. It is a great day to enjoy city walk and enjoy a couple of drinks with some friends. You're at the Hard Rock. I don't know if you can hear me. It might be too loud, but I got the bubble gum shot, which is basically two different types of cream liqueur plus a blue liqueur, which is why it's a blue color. The cream of banana. So it's like a banana cream flavor. So that's where the bubble gum comes from. Kind of a bubble gum flavor with the banana in there. I got the lemon drop. So it's just going to be, uh, a vodka, sugar rim, and some lemon. So it's gonna be great. All right, cheers. Let's let's do this. The uh, bubble gum shot and the lemon drop shot. Cheers. Here at Hard Rock. The banana, the banana liqueur, the banana cream, really brings out the bubble gum flavor. And whatever this blue liqueur is, it has a nice blue tint to it. Very good. It does taste like it does taste like bubble gum. Very surprisingly. Yeah, it's actually very lemony. It's not as I didn't taste the vodka as much as I thought it was for it being a shot, but I'm actually loving that because I can't take shots very well. So yeah, both of these seem like they uh, they both. It seems like both of these drinks you cannot taste the liquor as much, which is very nice, especially if like. Daniel said, "If you can't handle your liquor, then it might as well get one of these shots because you can't eat, can't really taste them at all. You can't taste the liquor. This is very uh, smooth, very s semi sweet. Was your sweet at all? Very sweet. A little. It was a sour. A little bit. A little bit sour. Nice. So cheers here at the Hard Rock. Good choice. The ambiance in here it makes you feel like a rock star. It's awesome. Cheers." We just got done at Hard Rock. It is a wonderful atmosphere in there. The ambiance is incredible. It is a brisk 65 degrees right now. Beautiful blue sky. Couldn't have asked for a better day to do this here at City Walk, Universal Orlando. On to NBC, on to the next bar. We are at NBC and I stumbled across a beer I never thought that they would have. I stumbled across a beer called the Beer Engine, which is a cask style ale, meaning that this is a traditional ale. This is how they used to brew ales in the early days of the UK and how they still do sometimes in the UK, which means that they brewed at room temperature, usually er open fermentation or meaning that they brew it in a barrel or sometimes in this case since it's 2024 it's probably more likely like a keg but they keep it at room temperature meaning it doesn't have to be cold this specific beer is a darker style beer it's going to be a chocolate and coconut ale so chocolate and coconut flavors daniel got the beer flight which is what type of beer flight daniel um, it was called the tour of belgium i know it comes with a stella Honestly, can't remember the others, but it doesn't look like anything like too like dark. Like it doesn't have any stouts. I think I'm gonna enjoy it. It seems pretty good. So yeah, my, the the variety of colors in his beer flight is tremendous. It goes from like red to like almost a very very pale color, like almost like a yellow. It looks pretty tasty. I'm oh yeah, you know I'm excited uh, for what Daniel thinks about that beer flight, but. This cask ale is, um, he gave me a little sample, but I tried it. 
and it's not warm. It's not warm by any means. It's like room temperature, kind of 70 degrees, maybe 65 degrees. And definitely has a strong coconut flavor and a very strong coconut flavor. And it does have a little bit of a bite, but it's not too strong. And the chocolate flavor kind of mellows it out a little bit. I like it a lot, and this beer is very rare. This style of cask ale is almost found nowhere in the world. Like, basically, the UK is almost one of the only places you can find it. And even then, it's kind of like a extinct beer style. So I was very excited when I saw it on the menu. We also got an order of some birria wings. So we're going to chow down on those as well. They look very delicious. It's a slow-cooked chicken wings, cilantro, onions, lime, and some sort of dipping sauce. So I'm very excited to try those wings, and I'm very hungry right now, but I'm excited for the wings. Just got done at NBC, and the wings were phenomenal. The birria wings, the sauce was very good. It was kind of like a, sort of like a barbecue sauce, but it tasted like the birria taco sauce. A little bit spicy, kind of sweet, kind of smoky, more smoky than sweet and more smoky than spice, but there was elements of spice and sweetness in there. But guys, if you've been enjoying today's Drinking Around City Walk video, then maybe leave me a thumbs up so that I can continue to make videos and you can continue to support my channel so that I can keep growing and making videos like this for you because it is so much fun to do this for you guys. And I know that some of you guys really like this type of stuff, so Maybe give me a like, that will really help me out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe down below so I can continue to grow my channel what? and do more challenges like this one, like drinking around Epcot, drinking around the monorail, drinking around Universal Orlando. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. Just if you don't want to miss a thing, then subscribe down below. Next stop is Pat O'Brien's. So let's go. Next stop, Pat O'Brien's Dueling Piano Irish Pub. Sounds good. So unfortunately, the sun is going down, which means it is time to go upstairs. There is an upstairs section of City Walk where there are tons of choices for bars. We're going to do Pat O'Brien's Dueling Piano Irish Pub, and then hopefully we're going to go over to the, to the Rising Star, which is a karaoke bar. But upstairs, there are clubs and bars, so many different choices. So if you do a drinking around City Walk, you have so many choices. There's no way you're going to go to every bar here. I'm telling you right now, there's no way. We just walked up to Pat O'Brien's and they already have all of the decorations up for Mardi Gras, which is very fun. So the inside of this Irish dueling piano bar has Mardi Gras decorations, which is so much fun. This is what we came for today. This is so exciting. I did not realize this, but apparently Pat O'Brien's is actually an Irish bar that originated in New Orleans. So it's a New Orleans theme and Irish theme. the Pato's Lemonade, which is basically rum and lemon juice and uh, some sour mix. So, yeah, so Pat O'Brien's, I got the mint julep. There are dually pianos behind me. What's going on? Single barrel, very nice bourbon, but man, it's strong, which is a good thing. That's not a bad thing. It is very strong, but Four Roses bourbon is very, very, very good. Have you tried your drink, Daniel? I have. It's pretty good. Nothing crazy special. It is just a lemonade with rum, but like, I love lemonades with rum, so you can't go wrong with that. Nothing special. Just a lemonade drink. <laughs> yeah. Like something you would get at Mardi Gras? Or... Probably say so. Star Karaoke Bar for our last bar of the night. Guys, it's been a great day. It's been a great night. There are so many different bars you can go to. There's no way you can do every single bar in one day. Here's Denise. What did you think of uh, Pat O'Brien's? I really liked our server, Shane, our bartender. He was so nice. It was great, and I honestly. Got, I got beaded. 
She got beads. Denise got beads. That's awesome. All right, let's go inside Rising Star, a karaoke bar. I don't think I'm going to sing karaoke, but maybe Denise will. I got the Rising Star, which is a Ciroc red berry vodka, raspberry liqueur, orange, and cranberry juice sour. So it's a little bit of a sour, kind of a fruity drink, and it's going to have Ciroc, so vodka. So I'm not a big vodka guy, but whenever you're here at the Rising Star, this place looks like a lot of fun. It's a karaoke bar, but it seems like it doesn't get very lively until about 9 o'clock, maybe 10 o'clock. It opens at 7 o'clock, so it's obviously not too crazy right now, but it is a karaoke bar, so I imagine on the weekends it probably gets a little more lively, especially like Friday and Thursday nights, maybe. Um, I already know what this drink's going to taste like. It's going to be uh, kind of like a punch, I assume. Probably going to be good because it's a cranberry punch. That's good. Honestly, that tastes like a red Gatorade. That tastes almost identical to like a red Gatorade, like a red body armor. Very good. That is really good. Um, exactly what I thought it was going to be. What'd you get, Daniel? I got a Long Island iced tea with a splash of grenadine. So like Daniel got a Long a Island iced tea with a splash of grenadine. So like a cherry Long Island, which is uh, not bad. That's a good flavor. Honestly, I have never been here, but it's awesome up here on the balcony of Rising Star at City walk we'll look down here it's still early so that's why nobody's here yet but like I guarantee by nine o'clock ten o'clock it's gonna get busy time because you know it's just uh, one of those places that uh, it's kind of like a club but it's like a karaoke club so of course tonight it's probably gonna get busy but we're just kind of hanging out it's kind of very empty right now but this place seems like one of those staples of city walk that will probably get busy uh, as the night goes on so probably worth coming to if you come to City Walk and you want to do a drinking around City Walk. We just left Rising Star. We just left Rising Star and uh, it was fun. There was a karaoke that there was karaoke that just started as we were about to leave. We watched a couple of songs. It was nice. Maybe next time we'll have to make a part two. Let me know in the comments where you want to see next. Thank you so much for watching today's video. It's been a great day at Universal City Walk. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. Thank you for watching. Peace.